There's the closing bell of the New York Stock Exchange, capping off another day of trading on Wall Street. The Dow saw some significant gains for the second day in a row. The index is up about 820 points. The S&P and tech-heavy Nasdaq saw gains as well. They are both up by about 3%, not quite. Let's bring in Rod Von Lipsy. He is the managing director at UBS Private Wealth Management. Ron, good to have you. So tell us what's driving the markets today. Hey, good afternoon, Lana and Leah. Well, we've had a relief from the quarter end that we saw last year. Yeah. What, uh, last month, last week. <laughs> it feels like a year ago. <laughs> it feels like, I wish it was a year ago, but it was only last Friday. And so yesterday and today we've had uh, sellers uh, have taken a holiday and buyers are back in the market and we're looking for a, a stronger fourth quarter. And traditionally the fourth quarter is a good year for a good part of the year for stocks. So I think that's what we're seeing today. We're also seeing a hope that the Fed may not have to be as aggressive as it had planned in its interest rate hikes because some of the economic data that's come in in the last couple of days have shown that the economy is in fact slowing. So there's optimism in the markets today as opposed to what we saw in the last week or so. Well, it sounds like the hikes uh, that, that have been leading up to this moment are working out. Now let's move on to jobs. The uh, labor market reported just over 10 million job openings in August. That's down from, I think it was 11 million in July. How much do you think that a tightening of the market uh, will impact the Fed's approach to continuing to raise interest rates? Well, you're right. That Schultz report today, 10.1 million down a little bit, uh, over a million jobs uh, at the end of August than the prior month. Uh, what it's showing is that this hope that the economy will begin to slow down, that will ease our way towards a soft landing, that perhaps that's starting to see. We're starting to see that happen. Uh, we also had some other economic releases recently. We're seeing that manufacturing uh, is starting to not grow by leaps and bounds. We're seeing a slowdown in the rise in housing prices. And in fact, in some places, we're seeing declines in housing prices. So all of that is leading markets and investors to believe believe that the Fed does not have to be as aggressive as it had planned to be uh, as we look towards the end of the year. But again, this is just the very beginning. This is based on some hope and on a couple of days of markets. We don't know that we necessarily have seen enough to establish a trend. Yeah, everybody looking and hoping to avoid that pain that we heard Chairman Powell uh, foreshadow for us. You know, I want to ask you, Rod, about how much one person matters, because Twitter shares jumped today after Elon Musk offered to end his legal fight and buy the company at the originally agreed upon price. The toxic but, relationship between Elon Musk and Twitter. Right. We've had extensive <laughs> conversations about how uh, how Twitter uh, <laughs> maybe needs to think of this as a bad boyfriend, yeah. in Lilia's words. Well, but it does say that it intends to to accept the deal. Are you surprised at either this decision from Musk or from Twitter? Listen, one person, one company, uh, one stock, uh, we try not to get into the mix there. But what this is representative or emblematic of is the fact that the capital markets this year have just been awful. There has not been a lot of M&A activity anywhere across, and the tech sector has really been troubled. And so investors are looking for reasons uh, and reasons to be hopeful that the end of the year that this fourth quarter is going to give some respite uh, to frozen capital markets and lousy technology and equity stock returns. Well, all the green surrounding us today sure feels We're a lot it. more hopeful. I think it was me, you guys. <laughs> I, I brought good luck Thanks, to Thanks, Lilia. Markets. Appreciate that. <laughs> Rod Von Lipsy, thank you so much uh, for sharing all that uh, with us. Today. Thanks, Rod. Thanks. Thanks for wearing green today, Lilia. <laughs>